다음 순서를 말씀드리도록 하겠습니다. 한국 비자 총괄 대표를 역임하셨고 지금은 크립토닷컴 한국지사 대표이신 패트릭 윤 대표님께서 블록체인 기반 결제 금융 시스템의 미래라는 주제로 발제를 해주시겠습니다. 큰 박수로 맞이해 주시기 바랍니다. 헬로, 굿 아프터눈. 마이름 이즈 패트릭 윤. Well, it's very good to be back here in Busan. And, um, and I'd like to thank Park Hyung Jun Shijang Nim and Kim Sang Min Wiwon Nim for hosting this conference to bring various stakeholders together to talk about the future of blockchain and how to position Busan as, the, uh, as a true uh, center hub of blockchain in North Asia. I joined Crypto.com about two years ago, and prior to that, I spent four years at Visa, uh, running Korea and Mongolia, and prior to that, I was with Standard Charter Bank, a British bank operating in Asia, Middle East, and Africa. And having spent the last 25 years in banking, payments, and now crypto, I'm hoping to share a bit of perspective on how to, what, what we need to think about in order to build sustainable uh, ecosystem to accelerate digital asset adoption and digital payments, to truly lead the way in global blockchain revolution from here, city of Busan. So I would like to start with the overview of what we mean by digital assets. And you probably know this better than me. Uh, what is Web3? Well, in short, let me just start with what the difference between Web1, 2, and 3. So web one can be categorized as read-only web content, and as web, the content and assets owned by the companies. The web two, also known as participative web, whereas users generate content and assets, but monetized and ultimately controlled by the platforms. Web three is about reading, writing, and owning web where users are generating and owning and monetizing the content directly. So simply speaking, Web3 is the future of internet. In Web3, it's all about providing value to the stakeholders and engaging participants by adding economics on top of Web2. What I mean by that is to shift from a platform economy, a monopolistic business environment centered around platform businesses imposing platform fees to one that's truly a protocol economy, which is blockchain-based decentralized transactions agreed by all participants. So when we talk about digital assets, how big, big is the market? And I would like to thank BCG Consulting for providing these um, stats. So the current digital assets market cap is approximately $1 trillion today, up from just 1.5 billion 10 years ago, 2013. And this sector is growing significantly, both in scale and diversification. The digital assets market is expected to grow up to 8 to 15 trillion by year 2025 and reach 50 to 60 trillion by year 2030. Whilst the market was initially focused on currencies, we are now seeing other assets emerging and growing uh, in the market, like NFTs, non-fungible tokens, stable coins, tokenized assets, and, and many more. So let me just drill down into just three separate, um, three different uh, digital asset classes to just kind of give you some, uh, share some figures. The off-chain assets is expected to grow 20 to 25% of total digital assets by year 2030. What we are assuming here is that 0.8% of the global GDP are tokenized, mainly around real estate, by 2025, further growing to 8% of global GDP, including bonds, equities, and real estate. The NFT share of digital assets is also growing from 4% of total in 2022 to about 15, 10 to 
of digital assets by year 2030. This means that the market revenue pool is expected to reach between six to nine trillion uh, USD by year 2030. The, the key growth assumption here is that NFTs will become mainstream assets for most investors with expansion of real world use cases, including authentication, supply chain, identity, and intellectual property. Lastly, stable coins uh, are expected to grow to, 30, to 35 to 40% of total digital assets by year 2030. What we assume here is 1.3% of the global broad money expected to be in stable coins, mirroring the rise in companies accepting crypto payments by year 2025, further growing to 10% of global broad money expected to be in stable coins as they have been acknowledged by special legal framework and regulation by year 2030. So how do we continue to grow the network? The inherent principles of Web3 is helping catalyze this tremendous growth and diversification. Web3 provides more control and ownership to users. The revenue generated share is shared by those who are building the networks and supporting its continued development, exploration, innovation, and more. For example, take rate, percentage of revenue taken by big platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Instagram and so on, is around 90% on average. Only 10% are given to the creators and users. In Web3, it is equally shared 25% across investors, builders, creators, and users, which is more distributed and equitable. So having gone through the digital assets overview, who is crypto.com? Why are we here? What are we gonna do to help Pusan to achieve its strategic aspiration 2026? And through this company overview and some of the products and services that we provide, hopefully demonstrate certain use cases that we could think about to help build a next generation payment ecosystem to support the Web3 industry here in Busan. So, a little bit about us. Crypto.com was founded in 2016 and is trusted by more than 80 million users around the world. And we are the industry leader in regulatory compliance, security, in privacy. Compliance, compliance is at the center of everything that we do. We maintain licenses in more than 100 markets, for example, US, Canada, Brazil, Singapore, Australia, and EU, in jurisdictions around the world. In Korea, we have also obtained VASP and EFTA license to operate crypto exchange and payments business in Korea, and we are closely co uh, cooperating with the regulators to get the final approval to offer our products and services here in Busan, hopefully very, very soon. Now, in terms of products and services, some of the products and services that we are sharing, it's crypto.com as an example, but this could be applied to many, many startups in Busan to help create the required ecosystem. So crypto.com has an app. It's a financial super app, and inside of this app, customers are able to trade cryptocurrencies where we offer over 250 cryptocurrencies with 20 plus fiat currencies, Korean won to be included very soon. And these services are easily accessible through this app. Within this app also, some of the popular um, payment method is actually prepaid cards. Now prepaid cards in Korea is not that widely used, but in many parts of the other world outside of Korea, is very, very well, uh, widely used, which is you take the prepaid card and you upload or preload the assets by using your cryptocurrencies of your choice. By partnering with Visa, you could actually spend your cryptocurrencies through your Visa prepaid cards across 80 million merchant networks. And just think about here in this market, here in Korea, where we have over 3 million merchant networks. Many are paying significant transactional costs, also known as merchant discount rate, by helping consumers, giving the choice to use which payment methods that they would like to pay at the acceptance network, and for the merchants to also diversify different payment methods would actually help them better facilitate transactions 
help out with better uh, cash management uh, cash flow, as well as managing transactional costs. Um, now, the, uh, the, these credit cards are not just accepted just anywhere, but we have also started global partnerships with some of the major global brands, such as Spotify, Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Airbnb, and we are hoping to accelerate this and broaden this uh, partnership ecosystem uh, here, here in Busan. Now, Crypto.com Pay, just like the other digital wallets that we have in this country, such as Naver Pay, Kaka Pay, Toss Pay, and so on, our Crypto Pay is basically a digital wallet where we connect directly with the merchant network, where without the physical card or digital credit card, you just simply pay for goods and services by using your crypto assets or any other parts of digital assets. On this particular one, by leveraging this technology, we can also work with other startups who wants to build crypto pay function through their digital wallet by working with us as a white label service provider. And some of the other brands supported, some of the names that you see here is Apple Pay, it's integrated with our crypto.com pay, uh, Nike and Time Magazine and so on. So these are just some of the use cases and there could be more as the payment industry evolves over time, uh, other than prepaid crypto cards or crypto pay payment methods, there could be other rewards that credit card companies can potentially provide. By having, by per having banks and credit cards participate in this ecosystem, many startups can work together with banks and credit cards to issue their own PLCC credit cards or prepaid cards to better manage customer um, finances and spends. And this will hopefully help stimulate uh, the industry. Now, other than these products that we could potentially think about, we cannot grow the ecosystem without very strong network, a partnership network, and as well as investments on the startup ecosystem. So just to kind of share a bit with the partnership here, some of the big names that you would see, for example, UFC, Ultimate Fighting uh, Championship, F Formula One um, and, and 76ers, Philadelphia, NBA basketball team. And through these sports partnerships, we are bringing in unique experiences for uh, event attenders, the people who actually attend these events to buy tickets in form of an NFT and also issuing special digital collectibles for consumers to really enjoy uh, the fans or the stars that they um, that they, that they uh, follow through these sports events. Uh, we have also worked with uh, Samsung uh, here in this country uh, to um, provide optimized crypto.com app experience for Galaxy Z Fold. Uh, we have also begun to work with two other local partners here. Uh, one is A-Story, the creator of Extraordinary Attorney Wu, also known as Isakan Pyeonong Sa Wu Wu, where we actually created these whales these whales of dreaming what could be good for our society. So what we have decided to do is by using this digital asset, we have invited 20 artists, got them to draw up this digital art, which we sold through NFT, and we have donated the funds to charitable causes. For example, uh, you know, children with autism, saving the whales, and so on. So we are using these special NFTs to also support a uh, good cause. We have also done a work with Studio Dragon, one of the largest uh, movie studios in this country, to help promote uh, K-drama. Uh, we also sponsor Crypto.com Arena, uh, the home of the uh, LA Lakers basketball team, where we recently held K-pop concerts at this Crypto.com Arena. And what we are also promoting is helping Korean stars to export their content to the US. Many, many big, big bands, for example, Big Bang or or Black, maybe Big Bang is not a good example, but Blackpink or BTS and so on. But there are other artists who really need the access to the US audience to, to find um, how to bet better uh, leverage their uh, intellectual property and, uh, and their songs. So we help provide in that journey. We also work with uh, Line Genesis. As you know, Line is a overseas subsidiary of Naver, Korea's Google, where we have provided 
crypto as a service to one of the largest crypto exchanges in Japan. And how we sort of see the market evolving over time is we see more and more banks, fintechs getting involved in the trading of crypto where they own the customer relationships and crypto exchanges providing these services through crypto as a service, just like how the banks are doing or other startups are offering bank as a service or card as a service. So through these partnership, what we're hoping to do is to bring these global partners into city of Busan to work with local partners to help create this big uh, blockchain ecosystem uh, uh, here in this country. Um, I would like to finish with um, funding, Crypto.com Capital. Um, Crypto.com is also a startup, started in 2016. It was not an easy journey. Uh, and we know how difficult it is to get access to funding, especially in Web3, blockchain, where in many other markets, you may have better access to capital, but in this country, we can do more. Uh, Crypto.com actually leverages our own balance sheet to uh, fund uh, startups by using our $500 million uh, venture capital fund. And uh, we actually signed this with the uh, city of Busan last year where we committed $100 million that we would like to invest in Web3 company startups in this Busan to help uh, start up the uh, startup ecosystem. So we'll be working very closely with Digital Assets Exchange Commissioner uh, with the city of Busan to get this thing going. So that sort of ends my presentation. Just wanted to just give you a quick overview of digital assets, the role that crypto.com plays, what we can do for city of Busan by partnering together to offer unique payment services to help create that ecosystem, but at the same time continue to invest in this startup uh, sector to get the uh, business going. So with that, we are very looking forward to embarking this new journey with all of you here today. And as a theme uh, behind me, it says, let's rise up together from Pusan. Thank you very much. Thank you.